Hi everyone, LazyFire here. We're gonna take the lift that we left off at the last level and uh, watch some physic or watch some uh, polygons load in. Jeez, starting this level off great in terms of tongue tiedness. There are a few different lifts like that. This one uh, that take a little while to get going, and it just transports you from one area to the next. It's not really anything impressive or that's a problem. It's just a, it's not even a stealth loading screen. There's plenty of real loading screens in this game. So I don't know why they really have them. Hey, what do you know? There's a man on fire up ahead. <laughs> so we're going to leave the man on fire alone for now. Uh, he's going to burn for a good long time, actually. So if we go over there and try to touch him while there's any flames Attention at all coming off of his body, we'll take Line damage. So it's best to leave that man alone. However, we got something that we can't leave alone. It's a flamethrower. We're also going to pick up a riot shield. I'll show how that works in a moment. But honestly, I don't really ever want to use it. It's not great. Hold on. Here's the flamethrower in action. You pretty much instantly kill somebody with this thing. So we're going to use it on these guys down here as well. There's the other one. And you'll notice that we have a new guard type, the Armored Guard. And honestly, I've played a little further into the game, and I don't think he shows back up after this specific area. You can see he runs around until he's not on fire anymore. And we've also got to show the shotgun off. Uh, well, And I got eight rounds in it this time. Usually the game starts you off with six in it. So that's pretty good. Everything's coming up Millhouse here. And you can see that there's some really nice propaganda posters in this game. I'm going to show off as many of these as I can. They're really nice Soviet era style propaganda posters that, you know, some hipster's going to have on his wall somewhere in, on Mars. But uh, they're pretty neat. And uh, right here, we're seeing a nice quirk of the physics in this game. If you're against some objects, you'll get pushed backwards. This is uh, specifically a problem against ladders, and I'll show that off later on. We're about to go into our first Where's airlock, and our first use of the shotgun right there. Not bad. Pick up more shotgun ammo. It reloads very quickly every time you reload it, so it's pretty good for that. But shotguns are definitely effective at pretty much point-blank range. And I'm going to hold off on that, using that, as much as possible for a little while. First, we're going to save. And then we're going to go through here. It's not its not the easiest area to get through here. So we're going to be careful. Hold it! Move! Move! Really, to minor C2. shotguns are going to be very to vital to get through C2. this area in a moment. Right now, the pistol is totally sufficient. And we've got 90% health, but 100% armor, so I don't really know if I have to go through much of this area. Because here we are. Pick up my health. Perfect. If I jump down here, by the way, I will take damage. So, at this point, I'm not going to do that. We're going to clear out one guy down here. Help! Ah! You uh, can't stop him from beating that miner to death. And yes, there are female miners who will die in front of you. This game was ahead of its time, kind of. Ah! Alright. You can see the silenced pistol actually worked pretty effectively there. Unfortunately, this guy is still coming for us. And headshots work on him just like they work on anyone else. I really... I know that they can take more body shots than your average guard, but I've never... I'll ask how you can link up with them. I'll let you know. I've never seen him take more headshots. So I'm pretty sure headshots are just as effective on everyone in this game until you get to the later stages. Scum. Though, I will say this, I have seen one of these guys take two headshots in a row before he died. So, very strange. Now I'm switching over to the shotgun for this next section, so I get to talk about the specific functions of the shotgun. The secondary fire on the shotgun is the one I'm going to use in this room Come here. On. You can see there, I didn't have to act work the slide on the gun when I fired it that time. And there's the action. I can't remember with shotguns. That's the secondary fire. It's called the automatic shotgun when you look at it, but it's in the semi-auto category. Because I can just hold down the right mouse button and fire off all those rounds. Or I can use the primary fire, which fires both uh, both barrels of the shotgun at once. Uh, whereas that first one only fires one. And we get to use our first turret. This turret is definitely more or less a showcase for Geomod. You'll see. 
I am blowing up the hell out of this office space. Believe it or not, offices are like the least destructive environment you are going to encounter in this game. So the fact that it's showing this off in this barracks here is kind of funny to me. You also notice that on the left side there, where the uh, ammo count, or sorry, the far right, top right side, where the ammo count on this machine is, the missile was not lined up correctly. That's actually a quirk of the Pure Faction mod I'm running, which I should mention here. If you want to run uh, Red Faction on a modern PC, you pretty much have to use Pure Faction. It allows you to pop everything into 920 by 1080, or yeah, 920 by 1080, so 1080p. And it also uh, kills a couple bugs that are a little annoying, but it doesn't kill all the bugs. As a matter of fact, it seems to instigate a couple of bugs itself, uh, such as a sound bug in an area coming up a little later in the uh, LP. So, real quickly, let's get on this turret. Hey! Oh! And this is something that's not super common in this game, but enemies will randomly spawn in uh, and cause problems for you. Try it, fighter. It, like I said, not extra common or anything like that, but it happens more than a few times. Also, there we go. That should be about it. There's another fun little thing about the uh, guys in this, the enemies in this game. Oh, hold on. Anyone hear me? Get me out of here. There's a key card on the desk. I think the guards forgot about me. Let me out before they come back. I can help you escape. Some miners are grabbing a shuttle and getting off Mars. Okay. Grab the keycard and use it here. You Thanks. never need a keycard again me. in this game. Try it, mother. Right. I wanted to see if I could keep that guy alive by getting on this turret. He ran into the room at the far end of the hall where the elevators are. Sometimes somebody will appear right out. Ouch. Ah! Ooh, my health is real low. Additional security needed in minor barracks C2. Sometimes a guy will appear right in that doorway, and as soon as you open the door out of the cell room there. Oh, there he's, he died. Oh well. That elevator has been destroyed. You'll have to find another way up. I think I can still get you to the docking bay, Parker. So, uh. That guy right there will actually spawn in. Oh, I'm unarmed. Really, dude. I hate when they say they're unarmed and they fire on you like that. When I was when I first played this game, when it first came out on the PS2, I always assumed that when they said they were unarmed, they had actually dropped their weapons. Until I actually noticed that, that was not the case, and I uh, I died a lot the first couple times I played the game, let's just say. You can see my suit health is really low right now. Uh, dangerously low, even. And there's not really any health around. And unfortunately, I have to go into an area where health is going to be at a premium. This isn't a good thing at all. Now, I could go back up and pick some stuff up from the uh, room I was just in, with all the guards and everything, but hey! that would... Oh, shit. This is bad. Where's my backup? And he just took... Wow. Huh. Well, that's kind of how this game plays sometimes. Let's jump back, and I will meet you back here in this room. All right, everyone, we're back where we need to be for this next part. I had to just... I skipped a couple of things just to get back here in time. You don't lose anything for not going through certain stuff, but what we want to do here is just pepper this guy with as many bullets as possible, because apparently my shotgun is just not working today. Now, we're going to go over here and get some healing, and also get to see something. Yes, there are medics in this game. Hit E at them, and... Yep. Let me help you with that. Yep, they'll fill you back up to full, no questions asked. And... Dark. So dark. Can't see. I can hear you. Sound like a miner. Get up to the docking bay. Ship leaving. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into animating that guy's face, but, you know, it's 2001. I was impressed they had animated faces. I don't have a weapon! And that's why I holstered my gun. You do that by hitting H before I came in here. That guy will freak out if you walk in there without a holstered weapon. You have to leave the area and come back with one holstered uh, before he'll do anything for you. 
so I just had to be a little careful. Where's my backup? Okay, this room gave me a surprising amount of trouble last time I did a test video on it. I don't know why, it's normally a pretty quick and easy thing to do. But I found that the shotgun doesn't work as effectively All here as I thought it did. All are ordered to lay down their weapons and report to the nearest security checkpoint. You will not be harmed. That sounds realistic. So, instead of doing that, we're actually going to continue on with the game and go through this duct. Yes, the video game staple duct. There's Later on, there's a different kind of duct, too. But we're going to quickly just uh, make sure this doesn't bite me in the ass in a moment. Whenever you quick save, it's like you're making sure you don't die immediately. Ah, can't go that way. There's a back route into the docking bay up ahead, if it's not blocked. Now that right there looks like something you could blow yourself out of, uh, but you can't right now. Not even worth trying to. There are a few different paths in this game that I've mentioned it before that you can only take if you make use of the Geomod system on certain objects. So... The escaping miners came this way, too. The elevators up ahead were destroyed in the fighting. You'll have to climb up. Help! Now, here's a fun thing with uh, these guys. I've looked at it, and I honestly think that if you jump in the water there, that guy cannot see you in the water. I know enemies can see you through water, though. But I just don't know what it is with that specific, uh, specific area of water. That guy's never fired on me if I go underwater there. Uh, but, yes... It's one of those areas. Oh, by the way, do not fall down on this side unless you want health packs. And uh, sometimes physics will get you stuck in here, so just be careful of that fact, too. Uh, please let me out. Yeah, part of the idea of the LP was that I would show off where you had to kind of struggle with uh, certain areas of the game and certain things that it'll do. Uh, but I was expecting it to be a little later on, not physics denying me my ability to climb a ladder. Let's jump Need in here. here. This is where coming in with a shotgun would have been helpful, but it looks like I cleared them out pretty quickly on my own. We're actually going to switch the shotgun now for this next section. Actually, no, sorry. We don't want the shotgun for exactly what I'm going to do next, but we're going to want it in a moment. You see, there is a guy. If I go through that door, there's a small ladder. I'll show you on the way out. Uh, however, there's a guy in this room, and the second I pop into this room, he's going to know I'm there and start shooting at me. So the most effective way to make sure he's dead is to announce my presence with a shotgun blast and then shoot him in the face. Or not. Sometimes that works, sometimes I screw up like I did there. So there's the door, the button that opens this door, but there are monitors, so you can see through the cameras in this room. It's pretty neat. You can see a medic crouching in the corner there already. Uh, for whatever I've never seen it do that specific thing where you see the corner of the camera. But that's uh, neither weirdly of the game. Weird weirdness. Oddity? Uh, oddity. Anyways, hit the button. And we've also picked up our first heavy weapon, as the game calls them. The assault rifle. Assault rifle is a three-round burst on primary fire, and secondary fire does a... It's full automatic fire. Not super effective. Actually, I would suggest using again. I would suggest against using the uh, secondary fire pretty much ever if you can help it. It's just not effective in terms of ammo conservation or accuracy. And the main thing about the assault rifle is that it is more accurate than, say, the pistol, which is a big thing because you want a weapon that can do a little bit more accuracy at a little bit greater distance. Uh, especially now. But we're picking up more shotguns and looking at computers of the future. Yeah, still running DOS in the future. That room I can never get into, but I think there's a way in. I don't know. And you can see NPCs will block you from accessing th certain areas. There is going to be a point where I'm going to have to shoot NPCs to get through an area. That Don't feel bad for them. They should know better. But that is pretty much this episode. Next episode, we're going to try to get out of here on a dropship transport. I'm sure that'll go great. See you next time, everyone.